Hi, it's Tommy Hodgins. Today I'm going to show you how you can template content like a site header or a site footer across multiple pages on your site using custom HTML elements. One of the first questions that people often ask when learning HTML is how they can define a piece of content in one place and show it on many different pages. Now, because HTML did not have this ability for a long time, Virtually every tool that people use to work with HTML, whether it's a backend language like PHP or a front-end framework like React or Vue, all have some kind of a templating solution. So if you're building a site and you're using pretty much anything, you probably have some form of HTML templating ability in that tool. But this is something that HTML can also do without any additional tools by allowing authors to define custom elements. So here I have a basic website. There are three pages, index, about, and contact. And each page only contains one headline right now. If we were going to add a pretty standard header and footer to that, here's what it might look like. A normal header might be a header tag. And inside the header, there's often a clickable logo link and some kind of a navigation. So the clickable logo link might be something like this. And then inside there could be an image or an SVG is even better. And then we might have a navigation containing an unordered list of list items. And each list item could be a link to a page on the site. So we have three pages, we'll put three links, home, about, and contact. So that looks pretty normal. Normally there would be an image and there'd be some styles, but that's the kind of content that you can expect most sites to have in some form. A footer, commonly people will just put a copyright message or perhaps other navigation or links. So let's say copyright current year, my name. So how do we get this content onto all these different pages without just copying and pasting the content like this? Uh, if we were to do that, let's say the site had 500 pages and we were to copy and paste this 500 times and then we wanted to add another page into this menu, we would have 500 pages to go and update and add this. So it's advantageous if we can just define this in one spot and render it or import it or somehow display it on all of the pages from that same source. So to do that, I'm going to invent a custom HTML element. We can name it anything, but I'm going to call it my header. And then we'll define that anywhere that this my header element shows up, this is the content that should be inside that. Now to do this, we need to create a JavaScript file and import that JavaScript file. So I'm going to create a file here called main.js. It could be named anything, but we're just going to call this one main.js. And to link in a JavaScript file into your HTML, you use a script tag. And for modern JavaScript, you use type module. And then we are going to say that the source of this is main.js. Now, if we do something like alert one inside main.js, we can see that it's loaded and it's running. So all that we need to do to make this my header element work is to define this as a custom element. So how do we do that? The way that you create a custom element is by defining a new class in JavaScript that extends the built-in HTML element, and we can also name it. So I'm going to name it my header, and we're going to say anytime that this element is connected to a document, this function will run, and we'll say this inner HTML should equal our header. 
Now we have a definition of a custom element, but right now the browser does not know that this definition should be used with the tag name my-header. So to do that, we'll say custom elements define my header to be this my header class. So now, anytime the HTML parser runs across a tag named my dash header, it will immediately, when it's connected to a document, populate its inner HTML with our templated content. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that from this file, and we still have the content. I'll do the same process with our footer here. My footer. And here, I'll just copy that and say, my footer is this HTML right here. And then we're going to say that the my footer tag is the my footer class. So this is our JavaScript file with two custom element definitions and registering those custom element definitions with HTML tag names. Here we have imported the JavaScript with these definitions. And so on this page where we use these tags, they are immediately upgraded as we can see in our web browser. So now all that we need to do to bring this over is to import the same definitions and to use the same elements. So if I click over to the About page now, it also has the same header and the same footer. If I bring the JavaScript file over to the Contact page, and again, define my header, and my footer, then this is complete. So as I click around, we see the same header and footer. Now just to show how convenient this is, we're gonna go back into the JavaScript and change this. So if we wanted to add a blog page now, it doesn't exist, but let's say there was a blog.html. On every page now where we have a real page with that menu, because it's importing the same custom element definition, we're getting this content. So we have templated HTML, defined in one spot, imported and used anywhere in any file, and we can even use it multiple times, and it should be okay. So hopefully that answers some questions about basic HTML templating and how you can save time by putting reusable components into one custom element definition, importing that definition, and then using these elements freely anywhere in your HTML. Hope this has been a fun video and hope you have a wonderful day.